You spend your entire Sunday driving around in circles trying to find that parking spot that everybody wants next to the door. Finally, you get inside, find the aisle, figure out which chair you want to buy, but unfortunately it's tied down. There's nobody to help, so you grab the box yourself. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the one. Therefore, you take it down the aisle, load it back into your cart. Hold on, hold on. I forgot something. You spend your Sunday driving around in circles trying to find that parking spot everybody wants. Get on the aisle, find the chair you want, load it into your car, take it home to put together each part that goes to each part, but there's so many damn parts. Whoa, 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 rewind, rewind, rewind. You spend your whole Sunday driving around in circles trying to find that parking spot that everybody wants. You get on the aisle, pick out the chair, figure out which chair you want, load into your car, take it home, figure out which part goes with you. Honey, I'm home. After the long line, stale food court, and avoiding that guy who's always trying to sell you something, you get back home. You unload the box in your family room and spend 45 minutes trying to find two screwdrivers, a chuck key for the drill, and an old towel so you don't dirty up the carpet. You unpack the box, trying to figure out which part goes which part to which part, and you spend your whole Sunday afternoon putting together this office chair made in a country you can't pronounce. You're hungry, your wife is nagging at you, your kids are bored, your buddies are all playing golf. You're assembling an office chair, your mother's calling, your wife is doubting your manhood because it's taking you a lot longer than expected. And when you're done, you're simply left with this. Now, there is a point to all this. The average American spends 8 to 10 hours a day at the office in a chair, not a good chair. That's 5 days a week, 365 days a year for the rest of your life if and when you can retire. You can retire. So let's do some math. You can spend $100 every 1 to 2 years on a poorly made office chair. And along with that chair comes some aches, pains, and picking up the Sunday newspaper will seem to get more and more challenging. Soon it will be so bad when you're at the grocery store and drop $20, you won't hesitate to even pick it up. Hey babe, I'm leaving for the weekend. Bye. Chores to be completed when I'm gone for the week. Wash the.
Four cats and dog, please don't use my expensive shampoo. Just show up is fine. Number two, empty the kilo box in the office, the one in the downstairs bathroom, the one behind the patio, and the one in the guest room. Clean the oil stains out the driveway. Return the videotapes. Call your mother. Make sure the AC is turned off when you leave the house. Keep your feet off the tables, and if you have friends, come over pick up after yourselves. Change the suit before you get back. Get the vacuum cleaner fixed. Last but not least, you spend 10 hours at the office six days a week. That's more than one third of your day sitting in that old office chair. One third of your life pinned to that cheap foam chair. It's time for a new office chair, honey bunny. I left $900 for you to pick one up. You deserve it. You work hard. Love, Chrissy. Wow, the smiley face. She did not give me.